Good morning brothers and sisters and welcome to our sacrament prayer meeting this morning on the Sabbath day. I'm afraid I'm on my own today as Kyle's gone to the congregation weekend at uh, Dunfield House and uh, I'm hoping he's having a good time there. Uh, we shall prepare to take the sacrament. Hopefully you've got your emblems ready. As I begin, and as you bow or kneel, whatever you prefer, as I say the prayer on the bread. At this time, we welcome all present to Christ's table. We invite all who would participate to do so as an expression of the peace and love of Jesus Christ, in whose name we worship. The Lord's Supper is a sacrament, a time to focus on the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. As disciples of Christ, we renew our covenants and recommit together to His mission, to grow closer to Jesus Christ, as individuals and as a community, worshiping Jesus Christ through God's Word, the sacraments, ministry, outreach, Kabbalah, and Jubilee. We encourage all that are worthy to receive communion to do so frequently and devoutly. O God, the Eternal Father, we ask Thee in the name of Thy Son, Jesus Christ, to bless and sanctify this bread to the souls of all of those who partake of it, that they may eat in remembrance of the body of Thy Son, and witness unto thee, O God, the Eternal Father, that they are willing to take upon them the name of thy Son, and always remember him, and keep his commandments, which he has given, that they may always have his Spirit to be with them. Amen. And we will do the same with the wine, or the water. O God, the Eternal Father, we ask Thee in the name of Thy Son, Jesus Christ, to bless and sanctify this water to the souls of all those who partake of it, that they may do it in remembrance of the blood of Thy Son, which was shed for them, that they may witness unto Thee, O God, the Eternal Father, that they will always remember Him, that he may have his spirit to be with them. Amen. So that concludes the sacrament part of our meeting. I want to talk a bit about uh, my depression. I've had depression this week. Um, it crops up quite a few times. And when we're depressed, there's many scriptures that we can turn to which can help us. One of them is Psalms 46, 1. God is a safe place to hide, ready to help when we need him. So we pray to God. And I pray this pray. God, I'm really dark place. Life is very hard and painful just now. I'm really struggling. Please help me. Give me the courage and strength to face each day. Thank you that even in dark times, I need not feel alone because you are there with me. So it's good to know that God knows when we're depressed and he can help us through. There's some more scriptures, Jeremiah 30, 19, the message. Thanksgiving will pour out of the windows. Laughter will spill through the door. Things will get better and better. Depression, depression days are over. They'll thrive, they'll flourish. The days of contempt will be over. 
And then Jeremiah 30, 10, the message. So fear no more, Jacob, dear servant. Don't despair. Israel, look up. Say, I'll save you out of far away places. I'll bring your children back from exile. Jacob will come back and find life good, safe and secure. And another one, Second Corinthians 4.8, New Life Translation. We are pressed on every side by troubles, but we are not crushed. We are paraplexed, but not driven to despair so if you're feeling depressed down and out like I have been this week just remember that God loves you Uh, and that we're never really alone so don't forget Wednesday night is prayer uh, Thursday night sorry is prayer night uh, and I should be back this week uh, hosting that. Uh, if you'd like to know more about the fellowship, uh, I'm sure David will put the church's website and my email address on if you need any information. Let us close in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you that your spirit is with us and that you help us all over the world, people suffering, people dying. You help us with our depression and we're never really alone. We thank you for your gift to us, Jesus Christ. And I ask that your spirit be continue to be with us this week in the things we do or the places we are, that we can be your hands, eyes, ears and feet in our community and the people we meet, helping them to get to know you, God. I say these things in your wonderful gift to us, Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Happy Sabbath. Shalom, brothers and sisters. Bye for now.